Storytelling is a key component of the games from LucasArts and Bioware because what it really provides is greater immersion for the player. It's important for this game, in particular the older public, because we're really trying to add a fourth pillar to the MMO space. And the way we're doing that is through incredible characters you get to interact with and story with consequences that really affect the world around you. The story that unfolds is the story you create. You are actually creating your own personal Star Wars saga. Star Wars is a classic story. It is the classic hero's journey. You've got a young man going out into the strange. He's experiencing amazing things that nobody else has seen. He's learning about the battle that everyone has between the light side of themselves and the dark side of themselves. And these are classic themes that appear again and again in Star Wars and are themes that appeal to everyone. <laughs> There's iconic moments, like moments of betrayal, moments of salvation, all these things that, that are really impactful, and it's that kind of imaginary but believable world. We try and capture all those in our games. We try and take that same kind of concept of, you know, hey, you're making the ultimate decision. Is it salvation or is it destruction? And, you know, you will have seen something maybe similar in the Star Wars movies, but we're bringing it to life in the game. The story timeline in The Older Public takes place hundreds of years after KOTOR, but still thousands of years before the era of the rise of Darth Vader and the movies, which everyone knows. And that gives us a really fertile, kind of unexplored part of the Star Wars timeline to work with. There's lots of Jedi around, lots of Sith forces around, so that gives us a lot of flexibility to create adventures for players to really get into. Everyone wants to have a lightsaber. That's, that's you know, a lot of kids' dreams, to like have that lightsaber, to use the Force. And we want it to be in an era where it makes sense for there to be thousands of Jedi and thousands of Sith in the universe. This is a time period where the original Sith have re-emerged. They have come back and surprise attacked the Republic. The Republic was not ready for it. They got pushed back very strongly. The Sith attacked Coruscant. They blew up the Jedi Temple and then pushed them into a really disadvantageous treaty. The treaty, of course, has been holding for a little while, but is already fraying at the edges, and everything is very, very tense. We are not talking Cold War, we are talking constant border and skirmish war when the game begins that is only holding because nobody is quite ready to say, okay, let's throw the entire galaxy back into conflict again. In addition to that, uh, you know, that broad story arc, you'll have separate stories for each class that you play in the game. So of all the classes, they'll each have their own separate huge storyline to pursue. Not only do you say, hey, I have a bounty hunter fantasy, so I'm going to play a bounty hunter instead of playing a Sith. But now within that, you're going to have as much choice in that one class as you would have had in an entire Bioware game before because every single class gets its own story, and that's a story personal to the player. So he gets to have his own Star Wars trilogy, whether he's a bounty hunter, whether he's a Sith, whether he's a Jedi, or one of the many other classes we're developing. Um, each of those classes has a completely unique story. There'll be moments where you'll have ethical decisions, whether to kill somebody or not, or you'll have uh, a master who challenges you, who used to be your friend, or a companion that you're playing with who doesn't like what you're doing and may decide to betray you. These are fully engaged characters. So when you're talking to someone, you literally, you know, it's, the, the camera works just like a movie, and you know, if they're if they're getting emotional, they're clearly getting emotional, and everything makes sense. And, you know, as, as a player, you know, seeing that is going to be something that will be very surprising to people because it's something that, you know, it's really, at the level we're doing, never really been contemplated. You know, actually having this true, engaging, long-term, hundreds of hours cinematic experience. Do you really want you to feel the player to have that emotional connection with the world, with the, the universe, and feel like there's another reason to play that keeps pulling them along long-term so they feel like they have a reason to continue throughout it all, they feel like they're, they're the actor and the director of the experience at the same time, at the center of this epic storyline in the Star Wars universe.